Good morning, my name is Chris Fox, and today we're talking about launching an Amazon bestseller in 2019. It is, let me check my calendar over here, January 17th as I am recording this. And I put out a book on January 9th, first day was very quiet, and then the official launch began on January 10th. And I'm going to show you in this video what I did and, and what the results were. And, and the basic lesson of the video is this, you can still launch into a very good rank on Amazon and make a fair amount of profit with a book, but it is going to take some ad spend and it is going to take knowing your audience. But if you do it right, Amazon will begin showing your book to other people that begin peddling your wares. And you can literally see that happening with my book now. I've gotten to the point where it's caught, it is starting to stick, and Amazon is beginning to promote it for me. So I put in some initial advertising dollars. I did everything right, and I very carefully crafted my launch to make this work. And now we're going to get to see the results. So without further ado, let's jump in and we'll see how the Magitech Chronicles quadrilogy is doing. Okay, so as you can see, we are looking at my sales numbers here in Book Report. I had this screen up just because I wanted to say that I finally passed $400,000 in ebook sales, which is a pretty big milestone. So yay! That means that if things go well this year, I will be passing the half a million dollars mark in ebooks. And, and that's not, you know, mentioning audio or any of the other income sources. But let's look specifically at this month and, and I'll show you how the Magitech Chronicles is doing. So as you can see, it's already at my top book for the month, even though we are only on the 17th. It's already surpassed Crocs Rises, which came out last month, and all the other books. And you can see down here in my dailies that in the last video where we talked about this stuff, I said that I needed to get to about $500 a day to hit my goals for 2019, my, my very aggressive goals. And I'm not doing that every day. There are some where you're dropping under five, and you can see my lowest day was January 8th. It was kind of an anomaly, but then it spiked right back up. And since then, I've been hitting more and more days that are $500 or higher, and it peaked at $727 just a couple of days ago, and today is already shaping up to be a great day. It is 10.50 a.m., and I'm already over $300 for the day. If we look just at this particular book, do 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 hope you like my singing. All right, so here's a look at just this book itself. And you can see that it starts off very slow. On January 9th, I did a soft launch and basically told no one. I created a bunch of ads and didn't really tell anybody except for my one Magitech Chronicles list that is only about 800 people. I said, hey guys, this is out. That was all I did. And I sold about 100 copies that day. In fact, this will give you a better representation of how the Magitech Chronicles is selling because you can count copies a little easier. It's just a cleaner view, in my opinion. There we go. So this is the box set. You can see that I started on January 10th with some fairly heavy promo and I got it up to 454 copies. And where this came from is one big science fiction promotion. So I did a swap through a service and then the rest of it is all advertising. So you can see up here, I've got all this aggressive advertising spend going where I've got BookBub ads and Reddit ads and, you know, Facebook ads and Amazon ads. And, you know, I'm looking into Google ads and, you know, other platforms as well. I'm messing around kind of everywhere and, and these are the results. So first day, 454. Let me blow this up in size. Second day, not quite as good, 358. I had a little bit of promo, but not as much as I'd like. I sort of, you know, use one of my biggest players on the first day to get my initial launch numbers up. And then I just keep sliding because now all that's happening on January 12th and January 13 really is advertising. This is almost purely ad spend moving this many copies, but my ranks were starting to fall. So to toggle over here real quick, you can see that around this time period, the book jumps up to 442, closes at 400 on the second day, then 423, and then 586 were really starting to fall, which I'd sort of accounted for. And then it jumps up to 320, 193, 224, and as of right now, it's 302. And, and what's happening here, if you get back to the numbers, is I planted my heaviest promo here on January 14th. I had some big, big stuff going. And then on January 15th, I pulled every lever I could personally pull. I reached out to all my own audience, you know, anybody who hadn't opened an email. I hit all my lists really heavily. I advertise on social media, and I sold as many copies as I can. And the reason that I did this is if you have read my book, Six Figure Author, you're trying to teach Amazon that your book belongs at a certain rank. 
If you can do this, then what Amazon sees is, well, this is my ad spend, I'm not showing you any ads, so I guess that's safe. <laughs> It, what you're trying to do is show them that this is the rough number that my book should be at, and so they're going to do enough promotion to sort of keep my book there. And I have the added benefit that I'm now in the also bot of a whole bunch of different books because I am the top of most of my categories. So the book peaked at number seven in science fiction. It's lit a little bit. I'm down to number 15 at the moment. But but it's been there long enough now, and it was number one in, in all of its categories at one point or another. So it's now taken over all of those and gotten the orange tags and every one of them for the new release that people are seeing this. And, and when you come down to a book in the also bot, having that orange tag there, it does draw the eye. Like when we're looking at all these books, my eye naturally goes to Breaker here by Isaac Hook because he's got that orange bestseller tag and my eye is going to start here. So I felt like that tag was important. I got it in all its various categories. And so now if you look all over Amazon, what you ultimately see is that many, many books have my book in their also bots in the first or second or third position. And so I'm getting a lot of organic traffic where people will finish up that book and they'll look in the also bot and they'll find mine. So I sort of seeded Amazon. They're showing the book now like I hope they would. I've been doing some aggressive ad spend, about $200 a day in ad spend across the various platforms that I mentioned. But you can see that it's worth it. You know, I'm making a profit. So on the first couple of days, Averaging, again, $200 a, a day. So in the beginning, I'm losing a little bit of money. But then by the time I hit January 14th, I'm basically breaking even. And then from January 15th onward, now I'm making a healthy profit. And bonus, I'm starting to trim the fat from those ads. So what I was doing with my ads is running all of them. It didn't matter what the CPC was or how terrible it was. I left it all running because I wanted every possible sale that I could get and I was fine with losing a little bit of money. Now I'm sort of trimming away the dead weight and getting rid of ads that are not performing or are costing me a lot of money, but still getting a lot of sales. And so you can see that now that we're like a week to 10 days into the launch, I'm, I'm shifting over to pure profit mode and that's what I should be seeing from this. If this does anything like I, my books have done in the past or like similar friends have done, then I should start seeing, you know, like 100,000 page read days very quickly. I mean, right now I'm at what yesterday? So, you know, yesterday was 25,000 words on the Magitech Chronicles and let's see what my overall was. Overall yesterday was 58,000 words. So I'm hoping today will be even higher. It looks like it's already shaping up in that direction just based on my page reads at 11 a.m. I've got plenty of the rest of the day to go. And so it may spike up even higher, which was my plan. I want to cement this at roughly its current rank and have it continue to produce those page reads for a while. Because once those people finish up, not only have I made the initial money of I read the Magitech Chronicles, but now they're being directed to my mailing list and my website and the sequel. I've already got Crocs Rises out and book six Nefarious is already up for pre-order. Let me see if that appears on Amazon anywhere. I haven't really followed up on this since I first put it up. Aha, so it is up for pre-order. I have sent a request to add this book to the series page. They obviously have not processed it yet, but they will. And I'll get Nefarious attached to the Magitech Chronicle series page. So if I've done everything correctly, what should happen is lots and lots of people finish this book. I get 1,200 page reads every time somebody finishes just this book. They move on to this one, which is another almost 400 more. And then by the time they're doing that, they're ready to pre-order Nefarious, which will be coming out pretty soon. And I can jump into that, which is another 400. So. We, I mean, I might even hit an all-star bonus for the first time. I've never done that. But either way, I mean, I'm making great money. And if you look at the last 12 months, you can see that even though I'm only halfway through the month, it's already one of the better months. And in a few more days, it'll kind of be moving into this range. And I fully expect to finish up this month at like, you know, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 in ebook sales, probably $5,000 in audiobook sales. And I've scheduled several thousand dollars worth of consulting. So if you remember in my income video, I made the audacious claim that I was trying to hit $25,000 a month. And, and I guess what I'm saying is that for the first month, at least, it looks like I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit that $25,000 that I laid out. I set some aggressive goals and I'm making it happen. And this is all a direct result of me focusing primarily on advertising and on networking and on marketing and on getting my books out there and less on writing. And I'm not saying that the writing is not important. I definitely need to get new books out. But 
this stuff has got to be done first if I want to keep selling at this level. So that's exactly what I plan to do. If you guys want to see an update, I will present one like in a few more weeks' time. But I just wanted to follow up because I had so many people that were asking me after the last couple of videos how the book was doing and, you know, was I happy with the launch and how was I going to actually hit this $25,000? Well, you know, that's where, where you know, I, I, I want to show kind of what I'm doing. And I realized that a lot of you are going to be asking, well, Chris, show me your ads. How are you doing this? And I would encourage you not to focus as much on that because if you're writing in a different genre, my ads are not going to help you. And even if you're writing in my genre, what's more valuable to you is the fundamentals on what makes a good ad. And really, that's understanding your genre. What are these people after? What do they want to see? What kind of blurb is going to interest them? And then you come up with some theories and you test them. You make a whole bunch of ads at a very low spend. And if they start going poorly, you cancel them quickly. And you learn from the ones that succeed and you just keep those. Is it an expensive, time-consuming process to experiment with advertising? Yes. But you can see right here like what the benefit is. I am quite easily hitting $500 every single day, just like I said that I, I was going to be able to do and will continue to do so. Uh, again, because I know what ads to create. I, I now have the books in the right position to capitalize on that. So if you guys have any, any basic questions that you, you want answered based on what I've shown you here, let me know. I will scroll down a little bit so you can sort of you know see more of the individual income this month for various books, and I'll let you know kind of where I'm at right now. Nonfiction start to climb a little bit because I am focusing more on advertising that stuff. But Destroyer and all of my military science fiction, as well as the Deathless Collection, is still not adequately being monetized yet, and so I will make that a priority in the next couple of months to get those sort of sleeping parts of my backlist active to help keep these numbers going up in the direction that I want them to go. Anyway, yeah, guys, there it is. You can see how I did. This is launching an Amazon bestseller in 2019. It is still very possible coming in cold. If you're putting together the right kind of book and doing the right kind of advertising, you can get some spectacular results. So I need to get back to the writing guys. Nefarious has a pre-order up. So I have an official date that I have to get this done by. So I'm going to get back to it. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.